folks, this is a perfect example of why we need to make Arena closer to Pioneer. All right, I'm just going to preface this by saying that. There is your metagame. 47% of the field, huh? I know it's a small tournament. <clears throat> Couldn't you just make a deck that mainboard hates vampires? That's the thing, though. There's not really a deck that specifically beats vampires. Because the vampires deck is, it's just a mid-range deck, you know? It's not like... It's not a thing where it's like Lotus Field, and, and I think that's kind of the big issue about, about the format right now. It's not like Lotus Field where it's very easy to target, or it's not, you know, Phoenix. You know, for example, if Phoenix was the top deck, you could play Landline of the Void. If Amalia is the top deck, you play more removal. If Lotus Field's the top deck, you play more Damping Spheres. If Blue White Control's the top deck, you play more Lilianas and Grindy Planeswalkers, right? But, like, there's just not a specific card or archetype that is... I think, a huge favorite against vampires because it just has the best of both worlds where it has the ability to play long, right? It's got Creature Lands, Fable of a Mirror Breaker, Mute Vaults, Castle Lock. It's got like, all this card advantage built in. It has an extremely fast kill with turn three. So like, you can kill on turn four in this deck. You just go turn three Soren, put in Vein Ripper, turn four, like, you know, if you play a Blood Tithe, you attack with both, sack my Vein Ripper, you know, whatever. You, you can kill on turn four in the Vampire's deck. So it's like good grinding elements, very fast clock, card that's hard to interact with. There are some decks that just cannot kill Vein Ripper, you know, like Blue White Control. They don't play creatures. So I don't know. It just It's very, very hard to attack this deck. And I think that's probably why it's so dominant. Oh, so the whole point of me doing this was I wanted to go through and figure out what decks, like what cards are missing on Arena for these top decks, right? So vampires fully playable on arena, perfect. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to change the deck at all. Uh, Phoenix, we're missing temporal trespass. I don't know if that necessarily, like, I don't know how much this card changes. Like, it's just a one of. Now, granted, this deck sees a lot of cards and can, you know, churn through its entire deck. But I don't think it, like, you know, Phoenix is still a very good deck on arena. It does change a decent amount though, because like you can't. You, there's no reason to play iteration if you don't have trespass. And like you know, it's this is kind of the end game of Phoenix, so it does it changes a decent amount. I don't think anything is missing for Amalia because I built this deck last night. Yeah, the, there's nothing missing. I guess the card that's missing is Painful Truths, which you know you could replace that with some other grindy card. Uh, Hidden Strings were missing. Uh, just well, Hidden Strings. Is there anything else we're missing? I think it's just Strings. Because they added Scrying, we have Charm, we have Recovery. I think, oh, Petition's missing too, right? So we don't have we don't have Hidden Strings or Petition. Dramoka too. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff missing from this deck. So yeah, this deck is almost just not playable on Arena. Uh, Blue-White Control, I think, is missing nothing. Uh, maybe Hallowed Moonlight, I don't know, though. That might be it, though. Everything else should be there. So is Moonlight not on Arena? It is not, okay. That, that is a pretty big one against, like, against Phoenix and stuff, so that's a big miss. Uh, so right now we're on, what, like, Hallowed Moonlight, Temporal Trespass, Dark Petition, Hidden Strings. That's the list so far. Uh, Herb Org, which is kind of relevant. And then when you get to this deck, there's a lot missing from here. So no carry did. And the other one is... Wait, these decks aren't playing Chained anymore? But no, no carry did, no Bring the Light. And also no Chain of the Rocks. I thought these decks used to play Chained, though. They just cut that? Why did they cut Chained? Isn't that card good? Anyways, I guess Leyline is better, but I would assume you just want, want more removal. But yeah, still, you can't play this deck without carrying it Bring the Light, obviously. Those are two extremely important cards. Uh, the, the Heroic deck is all there. Rakdos midrange is all there. Uh, oh, here's another one. Another important card. No Reckless Bushwhacker. Can't really play decks like this. So right now we're at Temporal Trespass, Dark Petition, Hidden Strings, Hallowed Moonlight, Sylvan Carry, Bring the Light, Chain of the Rocks, Reckless Bushwhacker. There are very specific decks that you just cannot play due to the card availability. Yeah, Herborg for Model Black too. And I really do think that if 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 just like all all they have to do is add like you know five or six cards to Arena, that the Arena Championship metagame is a lot different. I think. Mm -hmm. 